Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at station trading, station trading specifically what I've been up to and how much I have potentially made over the last 24 hours. Now I say potentially because at this present moment of presenting this I haven't actually sold the items, I have only acquired them. And although I expect them to sell at roughly what I'm going to be listing them at, the general point is that no, they are not sold yet and I haven't actually made the profit. And therefore I do expect these items to sell roughly where I list them. So yesterday, or 24 hours ago, I decided to participate in a bit more station trading. Now I will level with you, I'm not the best station trader in the world. It's not something that I have participated in a great deal over the last several years. And the big change at the start of the year was that now with station trading, if you amend your orders that are open and live, you will pay a greater tax, where prior you would only pay 100 ISK. Now that change did affect me quite a lot because in the past I was quite happy to sit in Jitter and babysit my market orders in order to be able to get them to sell as fast as possible or to make sure that I was top of the buying list. And although station trading hasn't been something I've actively participated in a great deal, it's probably something I should have done more of. And that's due to the fact that it scales quite nicely. Now, a lot of things in EVE you will struggle with scalability, whereas market trading, again, you will still hit problems with scaling, but you can sink a lot more ISK into station trading. So the more ISK you're able to put into station trading, the more ISK you are likely to get out of it. And so 24 hours ago I made the following buy orders. I went for rapids, rapid light missile launchers, magnetic field stabilizers, ballistic control, rapid heavy missile launchers, heat sinks. I've only just done the heat sinks to be honest, I forgot about heat sinks. Sensor boosters, only just recently done them. Heavy missile launchers, dread grister rapid lights, gallows light, undertaker lights, valkyries, light missiles, shield hardeners, and that was pretty much it. Now the reason I chose these items isn't anything particularly scientific. They have a decent amount of turnover, they had a semi-decent margin on them, and they are used quite a lot. So again, just by going into the graph, you can see here that on average there's 3,000 or so sold per day, which is a nice turnover. The margin between the two give or take is 150,000 ISK not including taxes and that was an acceptable margin that I was quite happy to go with. And the same with the rest of the items, I'm not going to go through each and every one because that would bore the life out of everybody but you get the general gist that again the amount sold here is pretty high, 2,500 and we can see here the difference between the two is 200k without tax. So to be clear over the 24 hours I have amended my buy orders four or five times over the 24 hours. Now they are listed in the Perimeter Tranquility Trading Center which is next door to Jitter and if I go to modify my orders the broker fee is relatively okay and that's because again it's a privately owned station and the amount of broker fee that you will pay to update your orders is less than it would be in an MPC station. So we can assume from that that again if I've done that five times I've lost five million ISK give or take in that and again we'll assume for the rest of them just to make life easy. So just to give you a quick overview in the wallet here you can see the transactions now as you can see most of them are in Jitter, however, some of them have been next door sold in Perimeter. I'm not going to include them in the calculations because at this very moment I can't really be bothered to go fetch them. And it's not going to skew the numbers by any great margin. But again, it's just to be something aware of that if you are putting orders in the Perimeter station, then you will get, obviously when you put it in, that your range on your buy order is within one jump. So you will get varying places where they turn up. Now as you can see here the vast majority are in the Tranquility Trading Center and Jitter specifically but you do every so often, here we go, we've got multispectrals that ended up in the Brynum which is um, somewhat frustrating but it's just one of the things that you have to accept if you are putting orders next door. 
And so the 24 hours that I have been doing this, again excluding the items that aren't in Jitter, we have, well, we've managed to acquire 1.85 billions worth of items in that time. And as you can see here, we have 521 multi specs, 97 missile launchers, one Republic fleet, 76 rapid heavies, 31 lights. One sensor booster, that's a little disappointing. Dread Grister's multi spec shield, 41 ballistic controls, 200, uh, sorry, five 250 flint stocks, a magnetic 30, sorry, 31 magnetic field stabilizers, and 35 Valkyries. So, to be perfectly honest, I didn't log the amount of ISK in buy orders that it took to get these items. Now, obviously, you can do it on a much smaller scale, you can do it on a larger scale, but the point is, I didn't or wasn't going to make a video in regards to this and again it's just off the cuff so unfortunately I don't have the numbers for the amount of ISK that I initially put buy orders up for but I can probably speculate that it was possibly in the region of two and a half billion ISK and then as the orders have sold out I've just raised new ones and so it's now it's time to put all these on to sell and again same as what you would normally do straight to the top so this and there we go now I'm not going to show you every single one but I will be back in a moment and just like that as you can see here we have listed um, all the items down to the multi spec so they are on at the respective sell orders and we'll see how long they take to sell as you can see here already items are starting to fly off the shelf so again I don't expect it to be more than 24 hours um, and there's still new items coming in that I will list as and when now I haven't done the faction items because I didn't think it was I do want it to skew the results basically and so I have left them out but just for instance for Fleet Republic I bought it for 50 million ISK and hopefully it will sell for around 90 million ISK so again there is a decent profit to be made on some of these items. Again the Dread Grister shield, as you see yeah it's still going, uh, the shield only makes about 9 or 10 million ISK profit but again you get a few of them and a few tens here, there and everywhere and you are making a decent amount of ISK. And so just to give you a rough idea, they have been on the market now for five minutes and as you can see they are already flying off the shelves. Now it is two minutes to downtime so this is a generally quite a quiet period within EVE. People are docking up and doing their things and not generally buying in mass so again I expect these to go quicker after downtime but as it currently stands we've already had a very good start. So as you can see here we have already had a good number of sales it's been just under five minutes I think as you can see downtime here is 35 seconds away and this is predominantly quite a quiet time for selling so we've already had a very good start and that's the point that obviously these items do sell very quickly once you get them on and, and on the market so as you can see here I've devised a little spreadsheet hopefully it's relatively self-explanatory you've got the buy price sell price the tax that comes off and the profit per item and then the number of items sold and then total profit and we've got that for all of the seven items so we've got the shields the light missile launcher rapid rapid lights ballistic control uh, magnetic field stabilizers and the Valkyries so like most things in EVE, it's probably a good idea to make a spreadsheet. It's pretty easy in Google Docs just to do this. And if you are doing multiple items, then it will give you a, a rough idea, which is always very handy, where if you're just writing it down, again, I can amend these prices as and when I want to change the formula. And as you can see here, I have managed to mess it up wonderfully. So as it currently stands, I will make 220 million ISK after taxes, buy and sell, if all these items sell for what I have just listed them for. And over a period of 24 hours, 
with very little interaction from myself. Yes, obviously I have to sell them all at the current price, but again, I don't see that being such an issue. Again, I can amend them, obviously, as I see fit. That will take that value down. So we'll say we're gonna take, what, 20 million. So I've made 200 million in 24 hours from little to no effort. And again, I wasn't planning on doing a video for this, so I didn't really go nuts doing this. I've only done it, so I say, on seven or eight items, um, repeated once the sell orders or the buy orders, sorry, were filled, just relisted them. So the big winner here for me has been the multi-spectral. The amount that I've managed to acquire in the 24 hours and the profit on them is pretty nice. So. I think the point of it is that yes there is obviously very good money to be made still in station trading if you have a half decent amount of isk to start off with so what i've invested two billion isk and i've got 200 million back so we have made a 10 percent return and as i mentioned earlier the good thing about station trading is that it is quite scalable so again you can just keep i can reinvest that isk back in to make more and then just keep repeating the process, making more and more and more. Now, obviously prices do fluctuate somewhat, so you can end up losing every now and then, but again, if you are diversified in enough areas, then you should be more than fine. And so as always, I am not telling you to go out and buy the items I have just shown you. I am giving you a snapshot of what I have been doing over the last 24 hours, and to reiterate the point that there is still very good is to be made out there from station trading. I didn't use any third party programs to find the items I were going to trade. I literally just pulled them up um, on the fly to have a look and again, made sure there was a decent margin, decent sell volume and then placed my buy orders. And as with all the videos, they're here to give you a glimpse of what is possible and to broaden your horizons, hopefully, or to push you in ways that you may not have thought about going and to open up more and other varied ways of making ISK within EVE. So as I said at the start of the video, I'm not the best station trader in the world and I've made uh, 220 million ISK, so it's still very possible to make very good ISK doing station trading. And with that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that's been informative and given you new ideas or ways of potentially making ISK within EVE. If you have any questions or comments, please, please do put them in the comments section or you can find us in game at StrangeNet. Um, if you have any burning questions that you would love to speak to me directly, then you can always contact me in game. My character is Redfall. And with that, fly safe. All the best. See you soon.